What's good, YouTube man? It's Cascade K. Welcome back to the channel. This video right here is the top tier gaming video on my channel. My entire channel. This video right here, it, it might even be pinned to my channel. How great this is! He blew a huge lead. I'm talking about huge. He was like 34 points, something like that. Like probably like 34, 24, something like that. But he blew it. And I did it in only six minutes. I was quiet the whole game. He was talking trash. So I said, you know what? I'm going to turn up the heat on him, put the pressure on him. I'm going to turn up on him. And that's what I did. So stay tuned for this video. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Because I got a treat for y'all. And I do turn on my mic. So be prepared for it. Because he went complete silent. I just wish I could add his mic audio. But I can't right now because... You know, thank for my PS5 editing and everything. But one of these days, I'm gonna have the other person's audio. But it's it's crazy. Just stay for the whole video. Stay tuned. Watch the whole thing. I'm telling you, you gonna want to stay and watch the whole video. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Chicago Bears and the Cleveland Browns. Cade York set to do the honors here, and we are underway from Cleveland. And boy, a rough start to this one as this kick goes out of bounds. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. On first down, Fields. Over the middle, complete. It's Montgomery. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From just shy of midfield, Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Fields. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. To throw again on second down, Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to be steering at a third and long here. Fields now to throw. Open man completes it to Claypool. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 29-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. First down throw, Fields. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. A good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more.
They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. One play action, Fields. His throw incomplete. That's a big force of completion there to bring up third. And this defense can still say there's a little bit of metal by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Look, this defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. They snap it to Fields. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And the Browns are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive to go. I appreciate the aggressiveness trying to go for it there on fourth down, but you're in the red zone, had three points in your back pocket. Instead, Charles, they throw it away. Certainly a big call to go for it on fourth down, as you said, in the red zone. Definitely going to cost them three points, and we'll see how that affects the game as time back. All the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go. Still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. And a dangerous throw there. Incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Fields. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Throwing again is Fields. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Here's Fields. The 20! And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Field throwing again. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Chase Claypool, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Fields trying to throw for it. And it's
that's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Off of play action, it's Watson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's Fields. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. It's a back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw his Fields. And this one is incomplete. I think it's safe to say they've made some questionable decisions out there so far. Force some throws into tight coverage. He's only been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On fourth down, Fields. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover. Somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. Chubb on the counter. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Watson off play action. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. And the Bears are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. When well, he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough out of throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Fields on first down. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. To throw again on second down. Fields. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. So now forward in the sack. Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. 
Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Running for it, Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And they've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. On first down, it's Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Chase Claypool with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Try to run it in with Montgomery. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Faking the give, now Watson. Flush to his right. Oh, wide open, complete! And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come in 23 seconds to go to halftime. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. The mistakes continuing to pile up, and it looked like they were going to be able to eat into that deficit. Instead, now the deficit is even larger. Yeah, they were on a march with a chance to get back within a score, but now that deficit continues to grow. Trying to run it in with Montgomery. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone, keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. The Browns drive about to get started. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. The final shot before the break, Watson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. And that pick six, Charles, that moves it up now to a three touchdown advantage. A great individual defensive effort there to continue what has been a very lopsided first half. And I better buckle in my seatbelt, right? Because you know, as a former DB, and he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. What are you talking about? Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock 
for the third quarter. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time, and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They go up the middle with Chubb. He's got it to the 43 here. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears will take over possession here up at the 44. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. After the sack on first down. Fields and his throw is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Here we go on fourth down, Fields. He's got a man open, it's Chase Claypool. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10, not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Kari Blossom game. A 24-yard touchdown as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. They'll try and throw for it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. This one fielded at the five. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get over to their final destination? clear who the better team has been in this one and in a league that we talk about every game being a one score game as we go into it watching this blowout let's just say it's been unusual Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10 now a timeout called for by the defense it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Toward the back corner of the end. Wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the ball? Waving the ball. I was just want to get out of here. Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. Okay. 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to take possession here at the 47 yard line. Probably better to start Icarus in mythology. That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. Keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. The throw over the middle, taken in. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. David Bell, 53 yards. And the Browns are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. It was Jadavian Clowney who got upfield for the stop. No surprise there, Jadavian Clowney with a tackle for loss. We all know how he became one of the most famous players in football, though, don't we? Oh, that one play. Yeah, that one big-time play was on highlights everywhere. And he's taken down. This will be a brown sack. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has a third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They think they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. And all the way down inside the five to the four. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hunt is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Watson going to try and run it. And he's in. Touchdown. to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by York is up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fielded right around the eight. A good-looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And the Browns are going to take possession. Oh, don't blow it. So 
Don't you don't know, waste we don't get real quiet. Ooh, there's no touchdown. Ooh, we don't get real quiet. Uh oh, don't blow the lead. See, you was just talking about my YouTube channel too. Now you going on YouTube. You going on YouTube now. You going on YouTube now, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care, my way back. I don't care, my way back. The Bears offense was still in the game. Yeah, I don't know. Watch yourself, let it be. You can throw another P. You can throw another P. We can run the ball now. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts and those opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two minute warning. So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Seven yards there and a first down. It'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. One play action. Fields. Now look at this. Oh, you suck. Oh, you you was horrible. You was horrible. And the Browns are oh, going to be horrible. Of the I know so your stomach ain't right now. The here as we get your reset. They come up I know your stomach ain't right now. This game still I know your stomach ain't right now. I know your stomach ain't right now. Now turn your mic back on. Say you don't leave your mic on. Turn your mic back on. Ooh, he. Hey, you leaving now? Hey, turn your mic back on, man. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Still an important piece of business to take care of. The extra point. I missed it. I made it. I'm gonna turn my mic back on since you turn yours off. You start back talking once you get a few little yards or something. Taking in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Oh, you're getting shaky. You're getting shaky. Don't blow the lead. Don't blow the lead. Don't blow the lead. What you gonna do? Gonna punt it? Time out! 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 See, I was quiet this whole game, but now you don't want me up. I was quiet this whole game, now you don't want me up. Hey, the lead to a game, but get off my game. Bye bye. Bye bye. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10 yard line. 
Why are you still here, but the Lito game? It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run with Chubb. And that'll hurt the average a bit. This time they're able to get it behind the line. That. You know what? I'm going to make you feel it out. I'm going to need the ball. I'm going to make you suffer. And they take a knee. Yeah. Oh, he quit. I told y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Help out the channel a lot. We're going to do it again.